to uh, Michigan on a uh, solid win today. Um, very good football program. Very good football team. Very talented, old, experienced. I mean, they look like uh, you know what the preseason ranking is. But Jesse did a good job in the uh, interim today. Um, got a really, I thought they had a really good plan defensively. So uh, obviously they they were the better team today. Felt good about the way our kids competed most of the day. Uh, a little disappointed in the wall we had in the third quarter, uh, but I thought from a you know competing and physicality standpoint, I thought we you know held our own at times. Uh, too many missed opportunities, too many mistakes, and we talked about it all week. That you know a team like that, they you know they take your mistakes and they capitalize on them. Uh, and you know our missed opportunities is the reason you know we weren't able to get down the red zone any more than we did in the first half, and we weren't able to get points on the board in the first half. So you know we got a lot of work to do as far as corrections. Uh, we also did a lot of positive things too. Uh, that was a big time setting. Uh, a lot of our kids never played in a setting like that. You know, I looked at pregame meal this morning, and we, you know, we eat pregame meal by eligibility. So, you know, your, your kids in last year will be able to go first. The kids with two years left go next. And, you know, the bulk of the guys that got up to go eat were the kids with three or four years of eligibility left. So, you know, we got to grow up pretty fast because, uh, you know, come tomorrow, we got to get ready for Marshall, got to get ready for our home opener. So nobody's got any time to hang their head or, you know, feel sorry for themselves or anything like that because we've got a big ball game next week. Questions? Coach, you mentioned missed opportunities early. I had the punt, pin them back, get good field position. Is that kind of one of those instances early on? Yeah, I mean, you know, we, we had the field position early in the ball game, and the, you know, the interception, you know, gave them field position and the momentum. You know, that's, uh, you know, I, I felt like in this game, you know, let's get that stop, and then all of a sudden we've got positive field position. We got the ball. You know, at the worst, if we punt it back to them, they're going to be pinned deep again, and so we create another long field. So that, you know, that mistake right there. You know, got them out of the hole. It also got a great field position. They capitalized on it and scored. But I mean, there's a, a bunch more. I mean, we you know, we had a slot fade and right through our hands. Uh, you know, deep in the deep in the red zone right there. We had a, a ball that we you know, couldn't hang on to. We got on the sidelines. You know, those, those catches that we've been making. So we've got to make those make those catches in the moments. Those are big missed opportunities. What was the explanation on the their first touchdown the way he was over the line of scrimmage? Even on review, and they still upheld it. Even the officials on our side thought he was, but you know, I guess his you know back right toenail was still behind the line. <laughs> Coach, what's going on at quarterback right now? You, you played two guys; they both yeah. got some well, guys. We plan to play two guys, um, so uh, you know, I thought uh, Mason you know made a few mistakes there early. I thought Alex came in and played really well in the second quarter. I thought Alex made some mistakes there in the in the third quarter, and I'm. Really excited about the way Mason finished the ball game. So I think we've got two good players. Uh, I think they both did some positive things that they can come out of here with confidence. Uh, I think they got some things that they can correct that they can grow from. So was the plan to play three series and then switch, or was there was there a plan in terms yeah, of? There was a plan to you know let Mason go three or four series, but let, let Alex get some get some time, uh, and then we just kind of you know went, went by feel after that. So uh, I think it worked out about the way about the way we, we wanted to. Do you think Alex benefited from kind of that first quarter, just being able to kind of see things from the sideline? Maybe so. Um, I was impressed the way he off the bench and you know went in there and operated really well. Defense was on the field a long time, but in the third quarter had that big goal line stand. How does that propel you out of danger? Well, you know, it's just like we're talking about the, you know, the the positive plays that Mason and Alex both made. I mean, that gives them something to, to have confidence to grow with. I think the same thing for our defense. You know, I think uh, a great job in the first series of the ball game, keeping Michigan pinned deep, making them punt out on the end zone. A great job there with the goal line stand in the third quarter because that, you know, honestly, I thought that kind of brought us back to life. Coach, y'all had good coverage on a lot of occasions, and McCarthy just kind of threaded the needle. Does that just speak to kind of how good that offense well, is? Well, I think he's, I think he's really good. I think they got some really good receivers. Um, I think we had some mistakes. We had some mistakes in the secondary. We had a couple of times we had a coverage call that um, you know should have allowed us to you know have, we'd be a highly contested throw or you know possibly a turnover, and we you know we did not execute. So I think you know we got some things we got to execute better with in the secondary, and that was you know both times I'm thinking of it's young guys in their first college start. So uh, you know it's there's gonna be some growing pains here early in the season. Taking any solace and holding them under four yards to carry. Do what? You take any solace in holding them under four yards of carry? It was a pretty stout run defense, at least. We have to be 30-3. I don't know how much solace I can take, you know.
you talk about growing up fast. I mean, yeah. this is a way to do it playing in this environment. So do you, do you feel like y'all can learn a lot from this game? Well, I mean, I don't, there's not going to be a bigger stage we're going to play on all year. Um, you know, I, I, I think that I'm, I'm pleased with how a lot of our guys handled the environment very well. Uh, and I think that will, uh, that will be something that will pay dividends, you know, for us down the stretch uh, and in the future. Um, it's, you know, they didn't go out there and just cow it down. And they, they went out there and fought. Now, Michigan was better than we were. But uh, our kids went out there and fought. So I think there's a lot they can take from this ball game. When you're talking to Garcia and Flynn this week, like what do you what do you want to see out of them? What, what do you what do you want to see out of Prudence Wise with those well, two guys? I talked to them in the locker room and, and told them basically what I just told you. You know, both of you did some really good things. Both of you made some mistakes. We got to grow from our mistakes. We're going to be better next week. We got to take the positive things we did, and we got to let that be confidence for us moving forward. Um, you got a lot of guys in our locker room that believe in both of them. And uh, maybe this is going to be an unorth unorthodox year. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe this is going to be a two quarterback team. I don't know. Okay, uh, we're going we're to do what's best for the program. We're going to do what's best for both those kids. We're going to coach them both very hard. Um, and I think there's lots of positives that they bring both both of them to the table. Can you explain the bench warning or penalty? I think it was um, at the beginning of the third quarter. I don't know. You'd have to ask the official. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I guess somebody got this way a little bit. He didn't say anything to me prior, so. Anything else?